welcome to this topic of digital navigation tool. So in this tutorial, I'll be discussing about the data-driven testing using the external files like text file or Excel file. Okay. So this is the continuation of my previous tutorial. So if you guys haven't watched my previous tutorial, I would recommend watch my previous tutorial. Come on back. Okay. So let's get started using the external files. So okay guys, in my previous video we have seen that how we can pass the data from the data source using the data generator and the data grid. So in this one I am going to show you how you can pass the data using the XLS, okay, Excel file. Okay, so let me take you to my data source first. The same SOAP request I am using here also the request call keeper that I have created my in my earlier session. Okay, so if you see that we are, uh, we are having options here like file and Excel. This is for file, for text file if you want to get and this is for excel. So you are going to look both, I mean how we can do it, okay. So first let me do it for excel. So for this excel, I have created one excel file. Let me take you to my... So inside the properties, I have created one excel file naming it as a country. Let me open it. Okay, so my file opened successfully. Let me rename my um, tab as country name. Okay, those things we don't need it, uh, just delete it. Okay, so the country, uh, country name tab is containing all the country details and uh, this is located inside this path okay uh, the next thing will be that i need to browse that file where this file is located so this is my path and this is my excel file so i've loaded it so it's giving us a pop-up do you want to import the properties no worksheet uh, worksheet i'll be i have to provide a worksheet name the worksheet name is here country name i'm giving so this way Starting at cell, which cell you want to start? So, for my case, A1 is the country, that is the tag, header portion. So, I want to start from the second, A2. So, this is the A2, I am starting from here and I will be covering from A2 to A16. Okay, so starting from cell will be A2. You can check this option only if there is empty row, like uh, suppose after second or third row, one is empty row, so only you can check it option. Skip this. Uh, select to skip into the for my case we don't need to check it option okay so we have given all this uh, work students and our cell starting now just click on uh, get the first 10 rows we will get okay here in that option you will get if you want to fetch uh, only five rows so see only the five rows starting from brazil to spain it, it already is the five rows so if you get, want to get all the rows so it's already mentioned zero equal to all so mention just zero so see all the from from brazil to korea from brazil to korea the 15 country name all are getting listed here okay so the next big thing is that we need to import those things into our uh, request goalkeeper so the property name i use there is country name and the same property name i use i'm passing it as in the xml request as a data source country name we can also choose the country name or from this uh, outline you can just edit the same portions and you can also do or if you are using the SOPI Pro you can also choose the value from that uh, from field itself okay so the from you can also choose the value uh, so let's just run it and we'll see the results okay so this is my case so I'm gonna run it It will take some time. It's looping through all the 15 uh, country currently. So it's finished. It's green. It, it simply means that uh, it's successfully done. Okay. So you can see the transactions lock. So total 31 step has been passed and zero has been failed. So we can see that total 15 country was there. So 15 for 15 country for each country one is for data source request another is soap request okay so
so it's looping through all these things so so we can see that uh, this is specifically looping uh, uh, first it is uh, requesting the goalkeeper then loading the second uh, looping to the second process then again so uh, request it sending using the third uh, using the data loop third uh, this way uh, total 31 step has been passed and this is the additional step that is why it's count showing as 31 else it will show as 30 this is the step that step has been passed and total step taken 6 seconds okay so all the step that has been total 15 row for each and every row the soap request has been passed successfully you can see like if you want to check response just click on the open and the last section that I mentioned Korea just see this is the Korea for all Korean country this is all the goalkeeper list has been given if you see the XML portions this is the response I have got and overview this is overview and outline you will only get and the pro version only okay and check for the upper one it should for uh, Netherlands the upper one should be France this for Netherlands all the things got displayed successfully and similarly for the above one uh, it's France okay so for each and everything and the initial was uh, was Brazil let me also see that the this is the first of request for Brazil all the things all the I mean goalkeeper player has been displayed properly response has become okay so this way you can see that uh, we can also face the data from the external data sheet like excel you can pass the data at the step request step itself and you can carry out your data driven testing this way okay this is the data source loop and passing the data from the excel list so now we are having another options uh, if you want do not want to pass it from the excel we can also pass it from some file we are having the different option like file so if you choose file you can also do that let me show so guys, as of now you have seen that we have used Excel file to update our uh, data parameter from our Excel to the SOAP request. Okay, so now we are going to see that we will be using any file format for the same. So for that we will be also need the data source that I have already taken inside our test step and I have to choose a file. So file, before that I need to create one file, so I am going to create one text file here. Okay, so this is the text format. Name it as a country name. Just country will be enough. Okay. Now I'm naming this a country I want to pass uh, England, Spain, Argentina, Brazil, and Netherlands. Okay. We just save it okay so i've created this file this is containing all the country list that i'm going to pass in my sub request okay so now i have to select the file so just click on the browse and this is my text file that i'm going to choose do you want to import the properties no you can say it, it will by default take it as cp1252 the separator the which separator i have used for my case i have used comma so all the values are mentioned in the file is comma separator so uh, the separator mentioned you should you should provide the separator okay if you use dot then you need to provide the dot symbol okay trim values if you want trim my values okay uh, values are in course if you provide the values in this uh, quotes then uh, check that otherwise you don't need uh, let's face the data and uh, zero for all so see the output we are getting exactly the way we have uh, listed uh, the country name in our text file right so now the next thing will be uh, i'm going to pass those uh, country name in my uh, soap request that is uh, request goalkeeper okay so the way i have done before uh, just click on the data source and it is fetching the property from the data source s country name so data source s country name that is the property is fetching and it has a loop it will uh, keep looping until all the country has been successfully yeah. triggered okay let me go back to my test and just click on the run let's see total five five country so total five country 
five times data source loop will be running and five times so request will be triggered so total five into ten and this is my test key that is in pass successfully so total 11 step it's displaying okay if you do not want to see that if step details just click on that all your step is passed okay it took only around two seconds now if you want to see the details you can just check on each and everything data row two data row three or you can just go to the complex sections here you can see that data row one data row two data row three four five everything has been passed uh, given successfully you can see the show figures also here for the fifth row uh, mentioned this Netherlands so it's uh, so is requesting as a country Netherlands we are fetching the data okay Alan Manus, Michael McGovern, Hero Carol, those are the goalkeeper for this country similarly for if we navigate scroll above if we check for this one uh, this is for Brazil you can see that this is the fourth one is Brazil for Brazil it is fetching the all the relevant land name and for the first one if you see that uh, this is for england it's also fetching properly exactly the goalkeeper names okay so guys uh, we have seen as of now that we can use the excel file or we can use the external file a comma separated cvs file to import import our uh, uh, test parameter test data parameter okay so from outside directory and we can pass the same uh, using the data source loop to trigger our soap request okay so there are separate other options like that you can also face it using the groovy sections so for the group you need to you need to have the groovy scripting for using groovy scripting we will be calling those uh, uh, test data yeah test parameter and we will passing those things inside uh, soap request but i'll prefer that uh, just go with the excel and uh, if you have a limit i mean i mean few amount of data then you can also use the grid view okay text will also be enough group will be will be seeing on basically on the script assertion and inside the test step test step will be seeing as a group view okay so i'll be cover this session later so that's all for today guys uh, in case if you have any issue let me know thank you for watching